Hi, my name is Gio and welcome to my vlog. I don't want to sleep as of yet because my jibo song. I ate a lot of donuts a while ago. My bad. Um, and but pasensya hani na itong buong Yes, my hair looks so funny. Na jumahaba na and na balik kasi head time. So this is just what I did. So I don't really care what you are going to say now, you know, on my face or my hair or whatever. Okay, so the topic for tonight is all about the application procedure in Utah, Philippines. And this is going to help you if in the future you might want to apply in Utah. Because you know, right now, Utah, Philippines has uh, stopped accepting applicants because sabi nila, there are a lot of teachers as of the moment. There are more than 300 teachers all over the Philippines. And I think I am and I was so lucky that I think I am one of, uh, I was one of the last batches, part of the last batch of uh, applicants in Utah. So thank you so much Utah for accepting me. So um, again, the topic is all about the application process because this might help you to prepare yourself because I heard that Utah is going to resume hiring this coming June. I don't know how true, but if it's true, at least you are already prepared. Okay, step one, visit Utalk Philippines Facebook page and then click sign up. The sign up button is there. Step two, after clicking, you will be directed to the application form. All right, so from here, you will see there your name. So fill in your name, your complete name, your mobile number. And number three, which specific area in the Philippines are you from? So write it down. Which region, province, municipality in right here. You will see the specs needed, um, specs that they require for you to be able to teach. It has to be Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and you will see there the CPU processor, RAM memory and all. And then, how did you find out about you talk? Of course, you will never click Facebook ad, job search indeed, job market. Of course, you will click referral and you should write my name. So that's G-I-O-V-A-N-N-I-L-O-U-I-C-A-B-A-H-U-G, Giovanni Louis Cabahog. And you might also want to include my teacher ID and that is 3650. So... Please include it there, okay? Because I'm the one referring you to you talk. <laughs> so your Skype ID, your Facebook name, your email address, and then you will see here that you should record a 20 second self introduction. Then you proceed to recording the reading material below for another 40 seconds. So it's quite easy. Just introduce yourself like what I did. I mentioned my name, my qualifications, and then the, my degree. And then here is the reading material that you should be reading for 40 seconds so you should read the words carefully and properly why because you talk is very very particular with pronunciation your short e's your long e's your th sounds you know things like that so you should practice this before you record and then you have options actually on how to record you can use vukaru.com here it is. So um, you might want to visit there and you just record immediately. And then um, another option is that if you have recorded your audio, then you just upload. All right, then submit. So if they like your application, you will then go to step three, which is you will receive a text message from their HR recruitment. And then you will be required to add them on your Skype account. All right. 
And don't worry, you don't need to glam up, put on makeup whatsoever because it's just an audio interview. There's no video involved. So if you're going to ask me what will happen on the interview, well, it's a normal thing. Um, actually, the same stuff that you have written on the application form, they will ask again. One thing that uh, makes it different is that there is a demo. And please don't panic. It's, an, it's a very easy demo. And I'm not going to tell you the whole thing about demo right here. Because if you want to know more about the demo, you must subscribe to my YouTube channel. So go ahead, click on that subscribe button. Let me know if you have subscribed. Give me an evidence that you have already subscribed. And then um, message me either here on YouTube, on Facebook, or on um, Twitter or whatever. So we will discuss there, not here on the video, okay? Okay, so once you got accepted, of course they will text you that you are officially hired. Um, you will be required to attend a three-day training. And these trainings are actually paid. So it depends on your rate. So if your rate is, like in my case, my rate is uh, 160 per hour. So I'm gonna be paid 160 per hour. The training is actually uh, three days, three hours a day. So this is really nice because you know it's a paid training. And um, what happened to me that time actually was so unfortunate because it biglang no wala yung internet a day before the training. No wala siya. Something happened to the connection with PLPT. So. It was quarantine time, so what I did is I went to the, I went to my office. I drove there, and ako lang and it was so tasking. It was so uh, troublesome. It was so, it, it was so much of an effort, a for effort on my part, because I have to wake up early in the morning so that I can go to the office, and then um, it was so difficult because ako lang magisa in the office. Eh. So I just went to the office just to get an internet connection para maka-attend ako sa training. And I was, well, lucky for me, I chose 1 o'clock in the afternoon until 4. I chose the afternoon training. Um, so I had time to really prepare in the morning. So again, three-day training, three hours a day, but it's still paid. And after you complete the training, again, you will be asked to do another demo. Oh, actually, before before the demo, um, there are exams on each training. So for one day, my exam kung dapat mong ipasa talaga, and on the second day, there's another exam, and the third day, there's another exam, and that is a demo. That is one demo, and after that, uh, uh, as far as I can remember, you will be asked to do another demo. Um, that is like you're on board. You will be on board for. It, it really depends on you, on your, um, on the result of your demo. Um, you will be on board for one or two days, so that serves as actually another demo. I mean, that, that serves as a demo actually. So in my case, um, twice I want a demo for the pre or onboarding period. Um, I was actually having a hard time on their pronunciation because you talk has actually they have a set of rules on how to pronounce certain words let me give you some examples well number one actually this is not a you talk set of rules i mean one of you talk set of rules i mean this is actually the proper way on how to pronounce the words for example th should not be da like the boy or the girl because that is how we usually filipinos do it it should be the the boy the girl the the building you know and th as in think should not be pronounced as think well again we filipinos do that i think or you know <laughs> i think i can do this so it should be think it should be th sound now the next part is where i am having a lot of difficulty even up to now um 
for example, you know, the word start, it should be start, S-D. And spell should be spell, S-B. Scared should be scared, S-G. Still should be still. School should be school. And star should be star, changed to S-D sound. This is actually a request from their school in China. So if you are going to teach and you talk Philippines, then you have to learn this because um, uh, they are very strict on this one, on this ruling. And this is how you should pronounce the words. And of course, we don't pronounce this one in, in real life, of course, because um, uh, this is just a request from the from their clients there in China. Okay, so when it got accepted, they sent me another uh, email or a message on Skype that they asked me to download a lot of stuff. <laughs> Number one, they asked me to download RTM. That is actually the platform that, uh, that they use for teaching. Uh, there's a teaching page, a test page, and then the uploader, and then there's another one. Um, that's those are four uh, uh, four applications that you need to download, and then you will be asked to submit again the specifications of your computer. So it was already mentioned there a while ago, no, you specs the computer or your laptop mo. So again, iPad is not accepted. Android na I, or tablet is not accepted. Just um, laptop or desktop. I'm not sure about uh, laptop and MacBook. I think they do accept it, but I'm not sure. I have to ask them or I have to check it out. And then, not only the specifications of your laptop, even the the name of your Wi-Fi, and then um, you have to test again. You you how it uh, the speed test of your internet connection, then of course you know how to do that. You screenshot and then you send it to them. Again, the name of the Wi Fi, I asked them why, is because you will have to be enrolled to another application that you will download on your uh, mobile phone, and that is DingTalk. And DingTalk is where it all happens. You, uh, you log into DingTalk uh, when you uh, when you when when your shift starts and all the communication about uh, about memos about about reports about your TM or your TL uh, sending you a message informing you about this and that they are all there in Green Talk. Actually, it's it's uh, it's a bit uh, complicated again on my part because in Ding Talk it's, it's like Facebook, Facebook or Ding Talk. And it's, I think it's it's only used in China, in everything there is in Chinese, and um, at least you know all the confer all the information or all the communication about new talk will be stored there in Malaysia and Facebook, at least for convenience sake. But it's still a bit um, confusing on my part because there are a lot of GCs, a lot of group chats about this and about that, about payroll, about. Um, Anything. I mean, sa lahat ng ano, lahat ng mga concerns about you talk, about your teaching, and for me that is good because it's both good and bad. <laughs> Not really bad, but on the good side, it's good because you know this is what I this is what I need. This is what I want. If I want to be involved in an ESL company, um, I need to have teacher support. I need to have a. Um, I need to have people who will assist me or will supervise me, who will tell me, oh Gio, what you're doing is not right. I need that. And unlike other companies, like I used to work in, uh, in another company, I'm not going to say the name, um, the TM will never reply to you. So they will never respond to your queries whatsoever. I don't know why. And this is a good thing in Utah because they really reply and they make an effort to really attend to your needs. The bad side of this one is that I really have to get used to scrolling everything on, in, in their application and being talk because, as I mentioned, a damning GC. 
and then of course you know my god I'm already 40 years old so yung mata ko is actually um it's not it's not good <laughs> I wear eyeglasses so sometimes I get so dizzy if I scroll all the chats there on the GC actually I'm used to in my years of working and in my career as a travel agent and as a businessman I'm used to receiving notices, bulletins, and memos using the email address. So everything is there. And it's much convenient on my part because one time lang eh. You don't have to scroll about, uh, you, I mean, you don't have to scroll on the chats of a lot of people like the GC or even the Facebook GC, but it's so confusing. So that for me is a bad sign in Ding Talk, and I hope they will fix that. I hope that you know if there are important information they will send it to the email. But again, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm happy with you talk. Um, if I'm going to weigh the bad and, and good side, of course the good side will always outweigh. Good you talk for me is a very good and generous, um, generous ESL online teaching company in the Philippines. And that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. As of now, I have, I think I have 65 subscribers already. I started out, when I started vlogging on YouTube, I think I only had three in less than, um, is that in, in less than three, months, three weeks. I mean, I already have 65. So if I reach 100, that will be a milestone. So thank you so much for subscribing and always watching my videos on YouTube. And of course, don't forget to to contact me on the following Facebook, I mean, the following social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm really sleepy right now. Okay, so thank you so much and bye-bye for now.